Hey everybody, and welcome back to Misfit Corner Comics. This is the Arsene Who's Andrew speaking, and we've got another stack of new comics coming to the store this weekend. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got. We start off with Inhumans vs. the X-Men, issue number 5. I believe I have all six issues in here somewhere. This is issue 6. Uh, the other the other issues might be in another stack or further down. But I, if I have the entire set, I'm going to uh, bundle it and make it available real cheap. We have X-Men Blue number one with an Art Adams cover. Nice. Thor God Size number one. Thor Man of War number one. I believe these are all one-shots. Uh, Death of X issue number four of four. Three of four. Two of four. And one of four. So I'll definitely be bundling those together. Planet of the Apes Annual number one from Boom Studios. Thor, The Truth of History, number one, one shot, by, with art by Alan Davis, so you know it's fantastic. Got a copy of Wonder Woman, number 750. Black Knight, number one. Another Black Knight, number one. I believe this is a separate one because this is part of the King in Black series. Fantastic Four, number 43. Avengers, number 262. Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer, uh, issue number 12. The Horrorist from uh, Vertigo featuring uh, Constantine. Um, David Lloyd is art, so you know it's got to be good, but I don't think I've ever heard of this. Uh, this is one of those uh, square bound editions, special editions, so it's probably a standalone story. So if you're a Constantine fan, it might be cool. Uh, Battle Chasers number 11 from the new series, the new launch. Legionnaires number 52. Wonder Woman number 46. Ooh, Spider-Man 2099, number one. Actually, I think I have the entire series of Spider-Man 2099 in here, so look forward to seeing more. Punisher War Journal, number seven, six and seven, featuring Wolverine. I gotta double check these. I think these ones might be worth something. I don't know if they're worth getting uh, getting graded or not, but eh, we'll double check it and find out. Uh, we have Spider-Man 2099, number two, number three, number four, Number five, number six, number seven, number eight. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when Rick Leonardi left this title, but uh, all these covers were by him, so and he's awesome. We have Wolverine, volume two, issue number 20, with John Byrne art. Oh, more Spider-Man 2099s, issue 28. Ravage 2099, number 25. Wonder Woman, Sensational Wonder Woman Special Number 1. This is one of those super huge, thick uh, editions. I think these were originally $9.99 a piece. It's pretty expensive, but don't worry. We'll sell them cheap. We have Batman Urban Legends Number 9. Another one of those thick books. Doc Savage Number 10 from DC. Green Hornet, Tales of the Green Hornet uh, from Now Comics. This is issues 1 and 2. We have some old Star Trek in here, Stol uh, DC Star Trek number 34. Oh, this is a 25 sensor. This is a Wolverine annual number. Oh, it's not numbered. It's actually just 1997's annual. I think it's a little beat up, a little bit too beat up to, to press, so it's going in the quarter bin. We have Mr. and Mrs. X number one. Oh, here's some more of those Inhumans and X-Men. This is number two, number three, number four. And we already saw five and six, so i got to find number one. We have Wolverine, number 25, Wolverine, number 39, Wolverine, number 46. I have a graded copy of this in the store. It's beautiful. Number 47, 51, 56, 61, with art by Mark Texiera. Wolverine, 83. Oh, this is kind of cool. Lion King, number one. This is the, the original comic series from, from uh, Disney. I mean, from uh, Marvel back before they were bought by Disney. Uh, Profit number three from Image Comics. Punisher 2099 number one. X-Factor number 74. Uncanny X-Men number 284. Back to Wolverine issue number 18. Marvel Comics Presents number 226. Number eight and number 12. I know those are weird numbers to get, but hey, that's what got traded into me. Uh, Wolverine and Nick Fury, The Scorpio Rising. This is another one-shot square-bound edition. Wolverine number 58, 57. Uh, from Image Comics, Troll number one. Ooh, this is kind of cool. This is Uncanny X-Men number 281. This one's actually signed 
by Wolf's Portacio. And there's like a little certificate of authenticity in here as well. So for Wolf's Portacio fans, that's kind of cool. Now we got some G.I. Joe, some original Marvel G.I. Joe. We got issue number 42, 44, 43, 61, 59. We have Image Comics Badger number 10. Hitman Annual number 1. I got stuff all over my desk flying everywhere. We have Justice League Task Force number 36. Superman, Man of Steel number 77. Superman in Action Comics number 747. Man of Steel number 81. Xena and Joxer number 2 of 3 from Topps Comics. That's a really pretty cover. This is Xena Warrior Princess number 3 also from Topps Comics. Azriel number 40. Supergirl number 20, Supergirl number 5, Robin number 1 uh, from 19, 1993, it's a foil emboss cover so that's pretty, Justice League Task Force number 29, Superman Man of Steel number 76, and last but not least in this stack it's Outsiders number 20. All right, so some of these are just random ones, but there's a lot of good ones in there, especially those Wolverines and so forth. So needless to say, new bags and boards in the store this weekend. Sell them to you cheap. Come on by and check them out. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for checking out the video. There will be more videos. I think I have probably at least three more before the weekend starts because uh, we got, I think I have like almost four small boxes uh, over here with new comics. So yay, comics. Thanks a lot for checking out the video, guys. Hey everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, and we'll catch you all next time.